This is called the T20 tracker. And what it does is, this is just, they do some experiments out here. And um, you can see the product deployed there and that photo on the, in the back. That's at the Ellis Air Force Base in near Las Vegas. We have 14 megawatt system there. It was the largest PV system in the world, uh, in, the world in the United States uh, a couple of years ago. And then we built a larger system in Florida Power and Light. But um, what we do is we, uh, this has 3.6 kilowatts of panels on one tracker, which is about as much as you can put on a home to power a home. And then we gang together 50 of these on one motor. And right now this is a couple. But usually these would be ganged together. If you can visualize 50 of these trackers all ganged together like a Venetian blind, you know, and you pull the string on a Venetian blind in your house, all of the slats move at the same time. That's the way this, this works. One motor moves a bunch of trackers. You can see it's pretty well in balance. You can actually move. See how, so in the morning, if you could visualize the sun coming up in the morning, this will be tilted all the way over. And then at noon, it'll be tilted like this at 20 degrees, you know, flat. And then as the sun goes down, it's following the sun, so on one axis. So you can get uh, about 97% of the energy delivery if you had two axis tracking. We just go to one axis tracking, which means a lot, a lot fewer motors, a lot simpler design, and we get most of the benefit out. So um, this is the brains of the tracker controller. They're contained in here. It has, you can see there's a GPS system. So we can replicate this system anywhere in the world. It knows exactly where it is, the longitude, the latitude. And, there, and then it controls the tracking algorithm that's located right inside brains in the of this box, and that automatically controls the tracker to follow the sun exactly the way it should. And so if you look at any of these pictures, you can see that pipe, this, these struts again, you have all the trackers, and they're all 100% lined in, in the field throughout the day. We get about uh, 20 to 25 percent, actually up to 30 percent more annual energy delivery. The advantage of tracking is you get 30 percent more energy delivery on an annual basis than a fixed system. And so if you have a 20 or 22 percent capacity factor, you can get a 26 to 30 percent capacity factor if you track the sun. So it's a lot more energy delivery for the same amount of panels and steel with just uh, one motor driving these very large arrays. So I'll, I'll pause there.